that was a nice cup of coffee. Ah, and just what I needed after my meal. I've just had, um, what is it, corned beef hash. It was very nice, actually. So, what's it all about? What's it all about, Alfie? I'm thinking, I know this is a bit, uh, a bit worrying, I'm thinking of a new strand for my channel. That's not to say I'm taking away from anything else that I'm doing, and this could be short-lived. But I was just thinking, a, a few nice comments came on the video where I was, which I called the little things, where just being on your own and pottering around and all of that was, um, it went down very well. And I thought it might be interesting <clears throat> to do a, a vlog, a video, once a week, maybe, on living on one's own. My eldest son left, I think, when he was 17. Georgie left when she was, uh, oh, I suppose, about 26, I think, maybe 25, and she bought a house and or a flat. She lived in it with her boyfriend for two years. Then they separated, and she went to Australia. And my youngest has been here since he's been 26, and he's he left effectively last week. The, the room is still in a bit of a mess, and those who've been following me regularly will will know all this. And now it's just me here, and I've been in this house for 30 years, and the house is tired. I'm divorced, I'm single, and there's nobody coming and going. My son and his girlfriend lived in the master bedroom for the last three years, and I've been in the back bedroom. And although they've kept themselves to themselves very much so, and they, you know, they go to work and they come back and they do their own meals, occasionally they would come into the kitchen and cook. Um, but they very much kept themselves to themselves. But there was a presence in the house. That presence has now gone. And I was quite looking forward to having the house, and I still am having the house to myself, because now I can just set up the camera and film whenever I like, and do my own thing whenever I want. And I thought it might be interesting exploring, using the exploring theme once a week, um, to explore what it's like on one's own and fixing up the house a bit. When we moved in, the house was in a bit of a state. We'd started to make improvements, but then the kids came along, started using crayons to draw on the wall, running around, you know, handprints everywhere. Too much of a handful with uh, one, two, hang on, three kids. Too much of a handful. So. We left it, and we left it, and we left it, and then I've lived in it, and um, my wife and I separated, we got divorced, and she moved out, took the kids, and they were with her for a little time, then they came back, and I nursed them through their teenage years and into their 20s, and um, apart from Stan, who I say left in his late teenage years, and I um, had my eye problem and went through that. This house has seen a lot and I've had various projects in here. I built a beach hut, an interior set, like a you know TV set of a beach hut in my front room. This house has seen some action in its days. Um, not that kind of action, more's the pity. Um, but it has, and now I'm on my own in here and, and the place is a mess and I realise it when I go around and look at my new son, my new son, my son's new place, 26, it's immaculate. My eldest son's place is immaculate. And I look at this place and it's tired. I don't want to make it modern, but I would like to tidy it up. But I still want my projects. So there's going to be a set to be built, which I can build and record and vlog and share, as well as all the other little projects that might go on. So I thought being somebody who now has I wouldn't say I've got any more time, but I haven't got to worry about what time I do these things and where in the house I do them, because there's only me. And it gives me something to do. It also, in a way, 
uh, takes away the fact that I am on my own because now I've got you. I've got somebody else to talk to. So join me in this uh, new strand. We'll see how it goes. I may drop it, it may be too much, um, or it may be quite fun and you can watch me cock things up as indeed I probably will. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this uh, little brainwave with you. And um, I, don't, I, I, I don't want to spend time making it into a big production feature, so it will be available light. Uh, perhaps I've got a little light on the camera, just something to enhance bits and bobs, but I want it to be a bit raw and a bit basic and a bit simple, living on your own. Well, just looked out the door as you saw and the weather is, this is uh, the next day and the weather today is grim. Again, I was uh, looking this up on the um, Met Office website last night, spoke to the lovely Julia and I said, hey Julia, it's a nice day tomorrow, sun is going to be shining, uh, light winds, uh, let's go for a walk. In fact, one of my viewers, Stuart, had emailed me with a walk and I said, um, Let's do this. It would be great. Um, wasn't quite sure what to do, but I needed. I knew I needed to get a video out. And um, she, well, she's just come back to me and said, yeah, it does look a bit bleak. I also had sent her an edited version of the first half of this video that I did last night. And I said, what do you think? Do you think this is a thing? Do you think that people would be interested? Uh, she said, look, anything that takes the strain off you to have to go every day and do a walk is good. If you can get two or three of those walks in a week and then you've got other things that you can present to us, then that's great because she knows how um, I get a bit stressed. And of course, I've walked the, the close vicinity. So it means that when doing heritage, landscape and nature, naturally, um, once going to be continually progressing further and further away from home every time you do it. Now I know I've got the van and I, and I want to do van trips but what one doesn't want to end up doing is every day having to go half an hour, an hour um, and commuting to a spot to do a 10 minute walk and then coming back and editing it and, and of course over the last three and a half years, nearly four years, that's pretty much what I've been doing, you know, going around. But uh, the lockdown has forced me to go into the local area, which I've done very well, thank you. And now, it, everything is much further. The, the Sussex border path is a different thing altogether. Uh, that is going to be. So I want to at least get one of those, if not two of those a week. So she, yeah, she said, yeah, people will be interested. And as you can see, this place, my house, is so well lived in but it seems very uncared for because I just haven't had the time. So if I can combine the two, then maybe that's a good thing. So you may well be getting to know my house a lot more than you ever wanted to. <laughs> um, just come back into the, uh, into the studio space. So I think one of the things I might try and look at today potentially is just painting the walls um, and I've got to, certainly I need to move these, um, Billy's leaving these wardrobes and I might be able to get those into my bedroom, at least one of them into my bedroom, which is a bit of an upheaval because my bedroom, which I um, at the moment, I'm not happy about filming. Um, that'll be the one area that is a bit of a no-no, but um, I think, you know, one's got to hold something back. You'll see so much of uh, my world. Uh, but yeah, if I can move one of those into the bedroom, move a lot of stuff out and shunt that in, then that'll be 
that'll be a job well done. And uh, yeah, there's there's a whole load of stuff here also, like the wall that is in a bit of a state. I need to do something about. I'm not quite sure. I'm not a plaster, and the roof has leaked in the past, and it's always damp. It always comes in. We struggle all along this terrace with the same issue. So, um, not quite sure what to do about that, but yeah. So, anyway, that's my proposal. Uh, living alone, at home with Vobes. Uh, I don't know what, what I'll call this strand, but yeah, living alone, basically, I think is the is the key thing and it's a very much behind the scenes I suppose of me and my life and and what have you and um, anyway that's that's what I'm thinking of doing uh, because in order to get everything done there's going to be this state of uh, building and shifting and making and what have you and so I still want to make a video every day <laughs> I think that connection with my audience for me is important so yeah, and it's nice to have that, as I said earlier, nice to have someone like yourselves to talk to each day as I do things. So I still will be doing the walks. I still will be going into the countryside. Don't, don't think suddenly just because I'm doing this that there's nothing else, but um, it's just a way that I can actually get on and do stuff here and still make a video and still send something out. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's an interesting idea. Thank you uh, for watching. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe if you've come to this inadvertently for the very first time. You never know, sometimes people do. Thumbs up, so always useful. Um, you can become a patron, support what I do if you so wish at baldexplorer.com. But otherwise, I will see you on another video very soon. Uh, let's hope the weather improves. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye bye. Right, what to do first? I think a cup of coffee.